Hello, my name is Scott and I work for Avan Technology. Today in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to assemble a CCTV system. When we open the DVR box, uh, this is what you will see first. We have a remote control, we have the DVR power supply, which comes in two pieces. We're going to connect this together like so. Um, and this end then goes into the mains. So just move that out of the way. And you'll also have a USB mouse, as you can see. Right. This is a four channel DVR. <clears throat> as you can see on the front, there is a number of buttons to select each individual channel and menus and anything else necessary. There is two USB sockets on the front. One um, is an input for a flash drive for any future backup and the second one is for the USB mouse which plugs in like so. You may have purchased in your kit either a bracket camera which looks something like this which can be mounted using this bracket underneath or on the top from a wall or ceiling. Another type of camera you may have purchased, maybe a dome camera, which will be mounted on the wall or the ceiling like so. As you can see, this camera has three sockets, three inputs, the white being for an audio, as this dome camera has a microphone, the yellow for a video signal, and the red for power. Also supplied with the kit, is the connection cable. This is a 5 meter cable and they are also available in 10, 20 and 30 meters. Right now as you can see there is a red, white and yellow on either end. The important part is to get the red ones in the correct place. As you can see this one is a male and this one is a female. The male end is connected to the camera like so. And following the colours, yellow to yellow, it's a push and twist connection, so it's nice and secure. And finally, the white. As you can see now, the cable is all connected to allow power, video signal, and sound from the camera down the cable. Next, you will receive a small 2 amp power supply which, depending on which model of camera you will buy, will power up to four cameras. <coughs> also, you may receive a splitter. This is basically an extension of the power supply and will split the power according to how many cables or how many tails it actually has. As you can see, this is a two-way splitter. What we do is we connect this end of the power supply to the female end of the splitter and one of the splitter ends into the opposite end, the female end of the cable. This allows the power to travel from the mains up the cable into the camera. Now we're going to connect the camera to the DVR system. Now as you can see on the rear of the DVR there is a number of different inputs. First, we have a DC input for our power. Secondly, uh, a RJ45, also known as an Ethernet port. This is to connect it directly to a router. We have a VGA socket for the use of a PC monitor. Here we have audio ins. These are for any additional microphones or any cameras that have microphones will be connected to the corresponding port with the corresponding channel. Here in the centre we have the audio out which allows an audio signal from the DVR to a monitor. This one is a video out. Again this is a video signal which takes from the DVR to a TV. Now for this you may receive a cable which looks a little bit like this. It has a BNC connection on one end which is the push and twist and a male phone on the other. Connect this like this so, onto the video out 
and then this end will then go into the TV. Today we're going to use a VGA monitor, so I'll remove this for the time being. Okay, next we have um, a number of ports as you can see here. These are for alarm outputs and PTZ controls, etc. For more information on these, study the manual provided or contact us. All details follow at the end of this video. Last but not least, we have the four input channels. Again, as you can see, these have the BNC connection to make it nice and secure. Right, if we take our camera, we've already connected the power cable as before. We now need to connect the video signal, being the yellow one, onto channel one. We push and twist, and that's locked in place. And as we have a microphone, we're going to attach the audio cable into the corresponding channel, channel one. Okay, next, we need to connect our unit to our monitor. So as mentioned before, here's our VGA lead. Simply push and twist to tighten each one in, giving a secure connection. Last but not least, we now need power to the DVR. We're taking our power supply from before and pop this straight into this section here. Alright, I'm going to turn the DVR on for you. Just wait for our system to uh, restart. Now as you can see, this is a four channel DVR, so it displays four boxes on the monitor. Um, channel one is currently recording, and we can tell this by the red box with the white arrow in the middle. Now if we take the cursor of the mouse and move it onto channel one, double click, and that's Last but not least, when you purchase the CCTV kit from us, we will provide two A5 sized warning stickers. Thank you for watching today's tutorial video. If you have any questions or would like to contact us at all, you can reach us on the following.